Emblems are usually an object or a picture that stands for a group such as a family, an organization or a nation. So as a voter, you may be conversant with which political party or which candidate you may vote for come December 7. But have you taken time to look at the symbol or emblems of these candidates or political parties and even the meaning of some of these symbols and emblems? All political parties express their ideologies through visual symbols and colors, such as flags, posters and slogans, to send their messages in the simplest, convenient way. Parties during campaigns often showcase some of these emblems. They are also printed on ballot papers where a voter must make a mark to vote for the associated party. In selecting an emblem, political party will look at the significance of that in terms of what meaning does it make to the people? What emotional attachment do they have to that? Then they also look at the psychological angle. For instance, when you see emblem A, what comes to mind? Is this important to you? Does, does it give you hope? Does it energize you? A quick glance at the list of presidential candidates for this year's election shows some political parties have a knack for selecting animals as their symbols. There is the elephant two doves, a cockerel, and a mythical bed. Other symbols like the umbrella, the sun, trees, the broom, and hands are used to signify what each party stands for. Liman's time. At that time, even though the emblem is Kube, they were using Abe, and they say, Abe can do a lot of things. In essence, they had, even though it's not a palm tree that was going to rule, is the people in the minds of the people if the symbol is so useful so important it can be used for so many things then by implication the people who have taken that symbol are also resourceful in no particular order on the ballot paper whilst the emblem of the elephant linked to the NPP signifies strength and intelligence the NDC's umbrella with the eagle's head signifies protection which is at the nerve of social democracy. The CPP's red cockerel, in an African traditional way of life, is the first domestic animal to rise and prompts people by crowing at early dawn. It signifies leadership and protection. The PNC's coconut tree and Equiadonkos GFP's cocoa tree also have something in common, versatility. Both provide fruits and medicinal purposes. The emblem of the dove is attributable to GCPP and the NDP. It is a sign of hope. However, the NDP's dove has an Edinkra symbol, Jinyame, except God beneath. And the independent candidate's mythical bed symbolizes Sankofa, meaning going back to our roots. PPP's red sun stands for light and energy with Gum's fisted hand and the APC's broom representing unity. Kofi Akpalo's LPG, however, adapted some modernity, a computer. The computer is nothing new in our country now. Some people say TV, but we are looking at letting everyone be aware of the age. And it's computer. So our concern is not to reach out to the elite or to reach out to the educated. We want every Ghanaian to be abreast of computer. Political party emblems, although different in color and symbol, are viewed to serve one purpose, serve the national goal. This elephant is strong, it's mighty, it's endurance. So therefore it means that MPP is sustainable and able to withstand a long process of whatever is thrown at them. Then when you look at NDC with the umbrella, umbrella gives you shade, umbrella covers you up when it's raining. It's, that also could mean that the NDC a, um, symbol of using an umbrella is to give you a shade over your life. The symbols uh, for the NDC is uh, umbrella and then the MPP is uh, elephant. I don't know the meaning of the symbols. Ghana's Electoral Commission has regulated and recognizes 29 political parties in the country. Out of this, 12 will represent on the presidential ballot in this year's elections. 
Several researches conducted suggest more education on the symbolic meanings of political parties is needed to enlighten the electorate better on their party affiliation. Political party emblems may come in many forms for all 12 candidates, but one thing is clear, that they all stand for leadership, growth, unity and peace. You may want to take some time off to get to know the emblem of the political party you'll be voting for come December 7. Nana Ekria Mensah Brampa, TV3 News.